Johannesburg Üniversitesi Biyokimya Anabilim Dalı Başkanı Profesör Marian Kronje, gümüş bazlı kanser ilacı üzerinde yaptığı çalışmalarla hastalara umut vaat ediyor. What we have observed in uh, in the lab setting and in vitro, these compounds do not affect normal or non-malignant cells to the even close to the same extent than it does um, the cancer cells. What we have tested um, certainly seems to indicate that this compound can target quite a few different types of cancer. And the last set of data that we published actually shows that these compounds actually influence the mitochondria of the cell, which is particularly important for us because the mitochondria, these so-called powerhouses of the cell, are the ones that are involved in this specific mode of apoptosis. I'm very optimistic. The results look good. We are very happy with them. And um, we've done the same studies on different compounds and then we found with a specific one, the results look awesome. It actually shows you that it does target the mitochondria in the cancer cells. We still have to dig a little bit further and go ahead with some xenograph tests where we see we do know that the compound can enter the tumour. We believe that the upscalability of these compounds will be relatively inexpensive to do. And we're hoping that if this happens and we are successful at clinical trials, that this chemotherapeutic drug would be available to South Africa, to Africa and then to the rest of the world. It is really so exciting news, but yes, again to say it's early days. We will have to allow them still a few more years which will also then depend on, on financing. We know that clinic, the development of clinical drugs are very expensive and that is why clinical drug developments and new drugs are usually coming from first world countries. So this will really be a breakthrough and a feather in the cap of South Africa if we can eventually produce such a drug.